I'm back with another wonderful recipe from Grammy Nene's Kitchen. Tonight, we are going to do some popcorn. It has come to my attention that there are a lot of young people that do not know how to make homemade popcorn, which is one of the most simplest, easiest things you can do. We're a microwave society. We're always in a hurry, but I'm going to tell you something until you have tasted some homemade popcorn. You have not tasted popcorn. But we're going to do a twist. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been a little bit dewy when we've been doing this. I mean, our air has been out for the last couple of weeks. And so I'm having to do this in a kitchen that doesn't have AC right now. And we hit about 89 degrees today, so I'm a little bit hot. But we're going to get through this. But I am longing for fall. I went over to my Dollar, Dollar Tree store and I picked me up some of these beautiful little guys here to start helping me get in the mood and I am looking forward to cooler weather because we have been without AC for about probably about three weeks so some of the things I want to try I had seen and you guys might have seen this too the recipe for caramel corn where they use the Werther's original and I tried it but it didn't really it didn't really come out like I wanted it to so I'm gonna do pop, I'm gonna do popcorn three different ways uh, I probably won't um, let you see me make each one of them, but we're going to taste them at the end of the video. So we're going to do caramel corn, and I tried that the other day. I tried to throw the kernels in the pan, but it didn't work when I was doing a test. It actually has to be melted and poured over the top of the popcorn and then stirred. And then this is a Werther's Original Caramel, and then this is a caramel apple, and they've kind of had here kind of because we're in a hot kitchen, kind of got in here and stuff. But this is a caramel apple. When you bite into this caramel, there is a hard uh, candy on the inside of it. And this is what the bag looks like. It's a caramel apple filled. And see on the inside, it has a green candy on the inside. And it is absolutely delicious. Of course, you can't go wrong with burgers. But first, we're going to teach you how to make some homemade popcorn. And if you know how to make homemade popcorn, then you're one step ahead of the game. But these videos are to help some of the young people that don't know how to cook some of the things and I'm doing this for my kids because and uh, some of my younger cousins and different things like that just some of my family that might need it so when I make popcorn I put it on the highest heat I put oil to coat the bottom of the pan see that's going to coat that whole bottom of that pan we're going to add about not a full cup not a full cup of popcorn but you're basically just going to layer the bottom of that pan with kernels. You don't want to put too much in there because if you do, then you you're going to have a lot of you're going to waste kernels. And this is a white popcorn. I prefer it over the yellow because it has less of a kernel to it and a more of the white, the more of the meat part. Now, the yellow popcorn is good um, for the yellow popcorn is good I mean, and it's the cheapest popcorn you can get. And I've tried blue and I've tried purple, but I have to tell you, white's my favorite. And white is pretty much what they use when they make the gourmet popcorns in the bags that you buy in the store because it's easier to get that kernel out. I don't shake my popcorn. You see people shaking it and moving it. I may do it like that at the beginning, but I really don't shake my popcorn because I have a glass top stove. So we're just going to let the heat do its job. And over here... In this pan, I'm going to add some butter right here. Megan, you'll come over here. I'm going to add three tablespoons of butter in that in that pan. And this butter is room temperature butter. It's soft. And we're going to put some caramel corn in there. You're not going to want any of these candies that we put in there to come to a boil. We're just melting. If you let it come to a boil, it's going to be so hard. It's going to take your teeth out. You're going to have to go see a dentist because it's going to hurt. Let me tell you. We made some the other day, and I knew better than to do that because I've made homemade candies before. And some of it you can boil, and some of it you don't. This is starting to sizzle. If you'll look down in there. You, it's, you kind of can't see it, but I want to show you. And you will see it will stop, start popping, so kind of watch that pan, Megan. We're going to put a little heat over here on this candy corn. And start melting this candy corn. And you don't need a lot of candy, because we're going to divide this one pan of popcorn up into three bowls. And I like to use my big bowls that's over there, uh, so that I can uh, stir them around. 
and uh, popcorn starting to pop, Megan, if you'll come over here. And once you get a good pop going, I don't know if you can see it popping in there, you can. Once you can't see any kernels on the bottom and it's like a field of snow, so to speak, we're going to turn that heat off and because there'll be enough heat built up in this pan to finish popping all of those kernels, but we're going to let it go. You see, I'm not shaking it. I'm not doing anything fancy to it. Now, you can see there's no kernels being seen at the bottom. You're going to turn that off and let that go. And then over here, we are starting to get this melted. We need to turn that heat down because we do not want that to come to a boil. We are doing a light melt of this candy. And you know, with fall coming and Halloween and all that stuff, this is going to be a wonderful thing for the kids. Uh, we're planning on having something for Halloween this year because with COVID, I'm really doubtful that they're going to allow trick-or-treating this year. And I have a, a four-year-old grandson and a three-year-old granddaughter. And so we have decided to have a little Halloween party at our house. And so I've been practicing with some of the things to do, like different kind of candy corns and, uh, and all of that good stuff. You can see there's no more popping. It's pretty quiet. So we're going to set that off the heat so that last layer of popcorn on the bottom don't burn. And we're getting a good melt here with that butter. You can uh, double batch this if you want to. Um, which means add more candy corn. I, I think I put probably about a half a cup of candy corn in here. And you've seen that I did three tablespoons of, of that. And so we're going to let these go. And uh, the reason I didn't put more candy corn in there because I ate it. But we ain't going to talk about that. We ain't going to talk about Grandma Nene was in the candy corn. Don't touch that right there because that's hot. I have to tell them that the stove is still hot. These glass top stoves, you can't tell they're hot till you done took the hide off of yourself. Okay, so while that's melting, I've got it on a lower heat. We're going to take this popcorn over here. And I'm going to get a pan, get me a, a rag so I can set this on my counter. And we're going to move these out because we're going to make this flavor of popcorn too. Like I said, Grammy nana has been in here testing things in this kitchen. And we're going to add this here. And worse is going to be my green apple because it's green. We're going to add a little bit of this popcorn into it. And you see how beautiful that popcorn is? It's just beautiful. We're going to add this under there. And you can see I just have a few kernels. It was like maybe one or two kernels in there. And I don't waste that popcorn. You don't waste that popcorn. So we're going to we're going to kind of put a little bit more in that one because I put a little bit more. Now going to be green apple, that's going to be caramel, and that's going to be candy corn. Let's go back over here to the to the stove. And we're just about getting this melted. We're doing good here. And you're going to think when you pour this on there, and you have to stir it pretty good when you pour it over it, because it will, it will, uh, it will sog it if you don't make it soggy, not soggy. But I'm going to add some salt to this, each one of these, because that adds to the flavor of the sweetness when you have a little salt going on. And I'm just going to kind of toss that popcorn, let that salt walk all the way around there, and that's going to be good. So we'll go around here. And we're getting there. She's just about melted, and you can see that that candy thick, and you had to do this kind of slow. It kind of takes a little bit of time. Okay. So, you just need to kind of, kind of constantly stir it. We're just about there. We're about ready to pour it over the popcorn. Then I'm gonna wash my bowl, and I think I'm gonna do the the caramel popcorn with you. And like I said, at the end of it, we'll come back because it's all made the same. And so we're gonna come back, and we're gonna taste test some popcorn and we're going to look at some popcorn but I'm so ready for fall and I made a video with, with the cooking chicken livers for my husband right before I did this one and I want to tell you I forgot to give you a message of good a message of love a message of wonderfulness when we have holidays and this is a Labor Day weekend we should spend it with family and that's just what I did today I spent it with my little grandkids and gave mom and daddy a break Sometimes mom and daddies need breaks. 
But I'm a blessed woman. I'm a blessed woman. I got a a good life that we're just gonna leave our heat on because we're gonna come back in there. A really good life. Nothing to complain about. And if I did complain, it wouldn't do no good. Because it ain't nothing that good complain about so I'm going to take this and I like to use this little spatula so I can get every drop of that out there so now I'm going to drizzle it and I want to go kind of quickly so I want to get that all out of there and that's just hard and hotter than a firecracker let me tell you and we're going to start mixing it mixing it mixing it mixing it mixing it mixing it now I made this for my husband the other night and he sat there and ate the whole bunch of it by himself and I didn't get one little taste of it. And I said, did you eat all that? He said, I, I did. I thought that it was for me and I was like, uh, it was for all of us. We was tasting it. So tonight I am going to be for sure to get me a sample of that. So I'm going to try a little piece right now. Nice and crunchy. Oh my goodness. That is definitely a taste of fall. We're going to set this over here. Kind of let that cool. We'll put it over there. That's popcorn number one. I'm going to go over here and wash this pan out dry. And we're going to start again. We're going to wash the pan. So, let me tell you something. It's a beautiful day today. We went to a park that had a lake, and uh, it had a beautiful sailboat out there and a beautiful breeze blowing, and it was just a gorgeous day. And I'm pretty sure my grandkids are fast asleep with Mom and Daddy tonight. I'm sure as soon as they had a little dinner, we fed them lunch. But as soon as they had a little dinner and a little bath, I figured they went out like a light. And that's when you know you've done a good job being the grandma when you take them home and they're so wore out that they're almost crying because they're so tired. But I have to say, Grandma and Grandpa was about that tired too. We come home and we was crying. We was carrying on. So we're going to go over here. Now, let that pan heat up a little bit. Now with this one, I'm not going to put as much butter in there because car caramel has has a lot of butter in it. So we're going to, let me open this paper up. We're going to half that. That's going to be about two and a half. Because we're going to do, we're going to do this caramel corn next. Let's go on over here. Megan's having to follow me around and I hope I'm going slow enough for you. So, let's take this and this is really stuck to my like I said, I don't have any air going on in here, so let's stick this in the microwave for just a minute to get it off of my pan because it has smoldered and got in there. And then we're going to add it to that pan with that butter. And uh, like I said, I'm cooking all this in a kitchen with no air, and it was 89 degrees today, and it was a high humidity. But we're supposed to be getting some cooler weather. We're going to be in the 50s this next week. And this stuff right here would be good served with some hot chocolate and some marshmallow cream. And oh, let me tell you. So let's see if we can get these out of this bow handle. And we can. They just needed a little, little loving, little loving. So now we're just going to stir this. Let's get a little heat. Like I said, you do not want to let this come to a boil. You will make this popcorn so hard that you won't be able to chew it. If you got dentures, it's going to pull your teeth out. If you've got regular teeth, you're going to need dentures if you let this come to a boil. You're just going to let it come to a melt. And so we're going to put that in there and just let that go. I put the heat up on it a little bit. We're going to cover that up. And I'm going to take a big metal spoon. And I'm just going to start breaking up this popcorn. It's starting to cool down now, but you can hear. And you could make popcorn balls out of this. You could take this and form it into popcorn balls and serve it as a popcorn ball. Because you can see, it'll form. It'll form into a ball. So, but we're just going to eat it loose tonight. And it's, and like I said, I'm going to get another taste of it. That's ball in a bowl.
fall in a bowl. That's delicious. And it's not soggy. You can hear it crispin. Would you like to try one? Sure. Pretty dang good. Thank you, video girl. You have to feed your video helper so she'll stay in the kitchen with you when there ain't no air conditioner. Okay. So, I'm going to make this one on here for you, but I'm not going to do the caramel apple. Because you got the technique down. But we will take a picture of each one and show you. And the caramel apple, I haven't done. That was just something when I went to buy some more Werther's Original. My husband actually picked them up for me. And my little girl, my 13-year-old girl, she was the one that said, Hey, you think that would be good with those uh, caramel Werther Originals? And so when my husband went to the store, he actually found them, which they're hard to find sometimes, and did that, so... But anyway, we're going to go over here, we're going to do one more, <clears throat> and we're going to try that. It'll take a little while to melt these down. Now, on the recipe that I saw for this, they actually added the kernels to here, and I tried it. And it didn't do nothing but make some soggy popcorn. And you had to bring the temperature of this up so high for those kernels to pop that it actually made like a brittle. Uh, if you want popcorn brittle, you can boil it. But I just found that it's better not to boil them. Just kind of get them melted. Let's put even a little bit more heat because this burner right here is not really a high heat burner. And boy, it's starting to smell good in here. I know I say this all the time. I wish I had smell of vision. Smell of vision, smell of vision. So you could smell this deliciousness. But we're going to melt all these caramels in there. And so I'll tell you what we're going to do so you don't have to sit here and watch these caramels melt. We're going to go ahead and make our next two popcorns, and then we'll be back. How about that? Okay, we're all done. We've got all of our gourmet popcorn, uh, dessert corn done. And remember, this is candy. This was uh, candy corn that I melted down, and you guys kind of watched me go through the step of doing that. You can see you can eat it individually. But these would really do good made into uh, popcorn balls. This is the Werther's, uh, see how it kind of forms balls in there? That's the Werther's um, caramels melted down with two and a half uh, tablespoons of butter. And this, and this is still warm, it's the last one I made, but it is the caramel apple Werther's. And uh, I'm telling you, this smells delicious. I haven't tasted it yet because it's hot. It's just come off, but we're going to do a little taste test here. Uh, this is my husband, Harold. This is Grandpa Harold. I'm, I'm Grammy Nene. This is Grandpa Harold. And we're going to taste these. So let's let him taste this one first. This is the candy corn. He'll be our taste tester and tell us if we've done a good job tonight. Very good. Very good. Right. Tastes like candy corn? Oh, yeah. Okay. Then crunchy? Okay. So that's my biggest thing is I don't want soggy popcorn. You want it to have some crunch to it. So this is the caramel. You're going to have to take it. This one right here is... Caramel really goes bad. Crunchy? Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah. Tastes like caramel corn? Oh, well. Yeah. All right. I like it. We're two. All right. We're there. We're going to go into this. Now, this one's a little warm, so you're gonna. I'm just going to get you a little piece right there on the top, because if you dig down there. Oh, yeah. Taste okay. that green apple. You taste that green apple. Which is your favorite out of the three? I like them all three, but I'd have to put the caramel. The caramel's the best out of all three? Well, anyway, you heard it here. It worked. So, these are our three, uh, I would say, dessert ones. And I'm planning on making these for my Halloween party. And I'm going to form them into balls. And if you're going to form them into balls, you would just put a little bit of uh, butter on your hand. Not a whole lot of butter, just a little bit. And roll them into balls. And you could wrap them up with some saran wrap. You could put them in a Halloween bag. You could do a lot of different things. But I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down at the bottom. And you guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you for tuning in to Grammy Nana.